Happy birthday to you. Oh, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Erica, my most beautiful wife. <laughs> Out of them all. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. What's up you guys? It's Erica's birthday and we're doing our weekly video blog and this week we're bringing to you in the trench kitchen how to make homemade sushi macro friendly diet friendly and uh, really high carb day friendly and birthday friendly because it's Erica's birthday. So we're going to run through the steps. Uh, Erica's just getting things prepared right now. And we're going to show you guys how to make sushi. Woohoo! All right. So homemade sushi making 101 in the trench kitchen. Um, first of all, Erica has got things laid out. So Erica, uh, what sort of things might people need to make sushi in their, in their kitchen at home? Um, what are kind of the ingredients that you need to just start with? Um, the thing that I recommend is just regular short grain sticky rice. You don't have to get the sushi rice. It just costs more money and it's the exact same thing. So just regular short grain rice. Um, we like to use snapper. We've used shrimp. We've used other fish before, but snapper is a nice low fat fish to choose from. And it fills it really, really well. And then if you want something crunchy, even though Neil apparently hates them, uh, cucumber we throw in there as well. So another low carb option just to add a little bit of girth to your sushi roll if you will. The next thing that you need to have is, I'll just get you to zoom in here, mm -hmm. a bamboo rolling mat. These can be found super cheap. Actually we bought it from Superstore before when we were in Vancouver. We bought it at just a regular grocery store. Didn't we get that one from Chapters? Uh, yeah, one time we bought a book. So from a bookstore? Yeah, and we actually never even followed those recipes. They're really quite cheap. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they probably like three, four dollars maybe. Um, so what I'm doing here, you have to take your sushi rice. What's sure that green thing you have? Oh, you also need seaweed. <laughs> That's for that. Okay, so those are just seaweed or nori is what they call it. Or zaki nori. Zaki Nori, okay, and this is, you can pick this up, um, Superstore, Walmart, I think any sort of grocery store is going to have them. And obviously Asian So that's the one that stores. it looks like. So that's what's on the bottom, so she's just got it laid out with the bamboo underneath. And like I said, you have to make sure that you have wet, cold hands. If you have sticky, warm hands, it will not work. So you just have a thing with cold ice water mm -hmm. just so the rice isn't Oops. sticking to her hands so for cooking the rice just standard kind of rice cooking times yes um, um, one thing that I have to say is do not use a rice cooker we tried to use a rice cooker but it made it almost like a gel it cooked it a little bit too much so just do regular pan rice um, the next pot. Pot. yes you don't want to cook pan. <laughs> don't pan fry your rice yeah. <laughs> um, the next thing is to take your rice what I like to do because I'm super organized is weigh everything in advance. So I got our rice, got the cucumber, got the snapper, put it on the plate, put it on the scale, put it in my fitness pal, just so I don't have to stress about any of it. And then I put the rice to about halfway, and then you just make a di uh, ditch, flatten it out, and fill your ditch with your food. So let's just take a look here. So that's how she's got it. Um, the one thing with the rice is that you want to make sure you cool it off a bit right before you yeah. start putting it into the roll. So cook the rice, cool it off, weigh out all of your other portions ahead of time as Erica's done. So we have the cucumber, um, we're gonna have some avocado yep. as well. Yours. And then the fish, and the rice. And then you your water. And, and then, then roll it up, get it to here, then roll it the other way. So you see how she's rolling the bamboo. Because this is how we roll, Trenchers. This is how we roll, baby. She's got it all nice and tightly packed, and then as you unroll it, there's your finished roll. So that's roll number one, um, and from there we usually this just... roll number two. There's roll number two? That Wait, don't they call that a birthday roll? I don't know. Birthday girl. Um, and then Neil has his job. He is on dishes duty and opening the fridge duty. So Neil, grab yourself a plate please. You got it. All right, so we're gonna grab a plate. 
And then we usually just let them hang out in the fridge. I don't even know if you guys can see me right now, but that's okay. So we're going to grab the plate, throw, throw the roll on. I don't want to be picky, but this plate's not going to work because it has the divot. It's going to bend the rolls. Okay, we'll grab another plate. We'll update you guys in a bit here. All right, quick update here, you guys. As you saw the last plate, that was Erica's portion uh, to meet her nutrition requirements for the day. So now we're on to Neil's portion. And I have to tell the audience. So people always ask me about when trench treats kind of go for a flop. It happens quite often. For example, the rice was really hot for me just cooking it and we were eating right away. So I thought I could put it in the freezer until it was cooked and it actually ended up freezing a little bit of Neil's rice. And so after taking a little trip into the microwave, we'll see how Neil's sushi ends up. The rice is a little bit crisp, but it should soften as we go. So yes, things in the trench kitchen do flop. Actually a lot of time they do. Whatever. That's Whatever the way you learn though. You only learn by making mistakes. That's true. If you're not making mistakes, you're doing something wrong and you're probably not changing or making progress. All right guys, so here is the last roll underway. Using up the remaining ingredients that we have out. The other rolls are all in the fridge. Ready to be cut as soon as this one joins it. So we're just gonna show you guys exactly how the bamboo is used here on this last roll. And just kind of the specific technique that Erica is using. So we get the perfect sushi rolls. Ooh, pressure. Pressure is on, last roll. She, as you can see, she's really compressing the rice down, filling in all the gaps. It's nice and smooth. And from there, Add your fish. No trouble. 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 So just adding that fish right on there. And you're not putting it right at the end? Is that just why are you doing that? Or does it go right at the end? Um doesn't you have to. So just kind of leaving a little bit of rice just above where the stuff is so it's all nice and lined up try and make sure you even everything out so as you can see she's dipping her hands in the water just so the rice okay. isn't sticking so then she's taking this end and then i wrap it under the end closest fingers. just flipping it up and then this tucking it right sticking. underneath and as you can see she's keeping the water on there just so nothing's sticking and it has the seaweed so it sticks to itself. Roll it and up. And then rolling it up. And then, and then from there, she's adding just a little bit more water. And then take it and roll it back to And then you roll it back towards yourself. Making sure to keep everything nice and tight. Sorry guys, the last video just cut off there. So we finished off with the last roll. Uh, all the rolls are stacked in the fridge. Just staying nice and cool. Ooh. And that is a big pile of sushi. So we got my rolls are on top and then Erica's three rolls are on the bottom. And she's just gonna finish off. Sorry, I got so much advice. Make sure you use a really high quality, good knife to cut through this, otherwise you're gonna have trouble uh, keeping everything tight and together. So just cutting through, and we'll show you what the finished rolls look. What they look like here. So that's that's the ugly end roll. Yeah, we don't Nobody wants to say, look at that, but it still like tastes delicious. Red. Yeah. <laughs> no one likes that one. There's so here's kind of what they look like. There's piece number one. So as you can see, just like that. And we'll share some photos of the finished product, uh, but they taste absolutely delicious. You can really add whatever you want. I mean, we like to keep it simple and basic. Um, and then we just use some soy sauce, dip it in, 
and enjoy. Do you use chopsticks, Neil? No, I don't use chopsticks. Mm. I did that one time, though. Yes, you did. <laughs> but then I, it's, it's like one of those things where it's like, why would I just not use a fork? Logic kicks in, hey? Like, why make this more difficult than it needs to be? <laughs> True. <laughs> Always got a point. All right. Thanks, Thanks for guys. watching, you guys. And thank you for all the birthday wishes. That's very kind of everyone to take time of their day to do that for me. Appreciate it. And happy birthday again, sweetheart. Thank I you. I love you very love much. You. Enjoy, you guys.